Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a one pound batch. I'm testing a new recipe that I came up with. And um, we're going to put it in this little one pound mold. And this recipe has olive oil, rice bran, coconut oil, um, let's see, mango butter, shea butter, and palm kernel oil flakes, and castor oil. So we're going to try this and see how it comes out. We've got my oils in here, ready to go. And what I'm going to do today is, it's a fragrance called Sex on the Beach. And um, I'm going to, I've never used this fragrance, so it's not supposed to accelerate or anything. So we'll see what happens with that. But it smells really, really good, very tropical, like just like the drink. And I've got my colors over here. I've got... Two different shades of blue, and then I've got a pretty pink to brighten it up a little bit. And then on top, I was gonna pipe some little suns, possibly depending on the behavior of the oil. So that's for that. And I used Indigo Girls Mica by Mad Oils, Brilliant Blue from Nurture, and Yellow Vibrance. From nurture. Oh, and also the pink is electric bubble gum from Brambleberry. I love that color. Okay, so I'm gonna get to mix in here. I've got sodium lactate and silk in the last solution. Every little drop out of there. and my coconut milk. Well, I guess it's pretty much summertime now here in Alabama. It is very, very warm for March. So I'm not complaining. It feels really good though in the 70s. No complaints. some color. Oopsie whoopsie.
That's the thing about working on paper. Sometimes it wrinkles up. I don't think I need very much for that little one pound. Okay. Actually, I haven't soaked in a while, and I'm kind of I feel kind of rusty, a little out of sorts or something. Had a lot going on, but I did get a um, farmer's market that I'm going to start selling at in May, so got to get easy. That's a good thing. Goodness, y'all. I'm like slinging it everywhere. I usually like to blend my colors in a little bit because it just seems to mix in better, but... I love blue. I was looking at all my soaps the other day and it seems like I have so many soaps with blue in it. I'm like, yeah, if somebody doesn't like blue, because not everybody does. some titanium dioxide in here with this indigo girls mica just to lighten it up a little bit. I was trying to decide what kind of what I want to do here if I want to just do it in the pot swirl or or what and I think that's what I'm going to do I haven't done that in a while this fragrance and hope it behaves. It's supposed to have just a teeny little bit of um, vanilla content and if it turns the white that's okay because it'll just look more like sand hopefully. I'm 
Mmm, that smells good. Seem to be accelerating it or rising, which is good. See what I'm doing here. Pink. I don't know why I picked pink. I don't know. Hopefully it looks okay. I just like pink. I love pink. Rustic, rustic Accentuals, that's always hard for me, Accentuals, <laughs> sent me a bunch of samples, little one ounce samples, so this is a good way to use them, testing. so tempted, you know, you just want to keep, anyway, here we go. It's actually a lot more colorful than I I put too I think I just put too much soap butter for the colors I should have done a little less because I wanted it a little more white with the colors in it but It 
really does smell good. It hasn't accelerated at all. Okay guys, I'm going to um, well, let's just take this in, just do a little something like that in the middle, that looks so globby. I'm gonna let this thicken up a little bit and then I was gonna do something on the top with the yellow and the blues so I'll bring her right back okay I think we're ready to try to do this what I wanted to do I think it got thick enough we'll see and if not, it's going to have to be. Definitely mix too much color. Next time we won't mix as much color. position. Okay. It's almost when that other blue, that indigo girls is next to this other blue, it almost looks grayish. Turn that blue. Supposed to look like waves.
<laughs> anyway, that looks kind of cute, I guess. That's kind of what I was going for, but not really. But kind of. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, let me grab some glitter. A little bit of glitter. Okay. There is. Let me see if I can pick it up so you can see it better. There is. What's it called? Sex on the beach. But I probably won't call it that. It'll be something like. On a beach, beach blast, or fun at the beach, or I don't know, something like that. Anyway, there it is, and the new recipe I'm really happy with. It um, behaved really well, so probably, hopefully, we'll see after it cures how I like it. So anyway, thank y'all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.